Hello there, this is Mr Evans and this video is on unit costs. Um, so uh, we're just working through these important measures of operational performance, how we judge the performance of the operations department when we're looking at uh, unit costs. So what is the unit cost? Uh, the unit cost is a measure of operational performance uh, that assesses the average cost of producing each unit of output. How do we calculate it? Well, we take our total costs, how much did it cost us to produce all of our units of output, and we divide that uh, by the number of units of output that we've got. got. So, for example, if it cost us £100 to make 10 uh, items, um, then the uh, unit cost is going to be £100, the total cost, divided by the output, 10 units of output, gives us uh, an average cost for producing each unit of £10 per unit. Again, uh, as I said in the labour productivity video, this information is relatively useless on its own. Um, we need some sort of uh, historical data to see have we managed to cut our unit cost, or is our unit cost rising, how are we performing against our competitors, but nevertheless, um, it's important to be able to calculate it. Uh, it's really important to memorise that formula. So, uh, looking at the formula, we can kind of um, uh, understand how we can cut unit cost, which is likely to be our target for obvious reasons. Um, so, we can cut unit costs by cutting our total cost but producing the same number of units of output. Or, if we can produce more units of output and keep our total cost of production the same, uh, the average cost of each unit will fall. Um, so why is that important to cut the average cost of each unit? Well, two things. If we retain our selling price as it is, and the cost of, selling, uh, of producing that unit has fallen, then we're going to increase our profit margin. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if we cut our unit cost by say 10%, uh, we may be able to reduce our selling price by 10% and we can retain the same profit margin. So we can become more competitive uh, against um, other companies, but we can retain a profit margin. Hence why cutting unit costs is an important measure of operational performance. So um, what can we do to cut our unit costs then? We can make our... Um, uh, our workers work harder, we can increase uh, the labour productivity, or we can make the capital that we've invested in, um, which represents a fixed cost, we can make that work harder. And if we can increase our units of output using the uh, same number of assets, then our uh, unit cost should fall. Um, if we can reduce the cost of raw materials, that obviously brings down the total cost. If we can spend less money on storage, uh, on storing stock, then again, uh, that's going to reduce the cost of uh, production. And finally, reducing any wastage on the production line. So uh, we're using all the materials that we buy effectively. Again, should cost uh, should lead to a fall in average cost per unit. Um, so let's just have a look at a quick question. Um, this uh, is from a past paper from. Uh, 2010 um, and uh, again as my advice to you would be when we come to a case study in the exam look at the questions that are asked on that case study before you read the case study so you know what information you're looking out for if I've read this I know that I'm going to be looking to uh, for the data to help me calculate the change in the Eden project's unit cost per visitor between 2005 uh, six and 2006-7. Um, helpfully it tells me it's in figure one so I shouldn't need to look uh, too hard. So there is figure one. Um, I've pulled it out of the case study. I'll just show you the paper. Oh, no I won't. Um, you can look it, look up, look it up anyway. It's the Buzz2 
um, past paper. Um, but I guess the key is uh, remembering the formula, uh, which is the total cost and uh, we need to divide that by the output. Now it doesn't give you output here, so the skill is working out that obviously the output is going to be the number of tickets that we sell and this is the number of tickets that we sell. And we need to calculate the change between 2005-06 and 2006-07. So just a reminder that um, you know in the pressure of an exam you might you find it difficult to remember. Okay, so you've got the formula remembered. It's out. Uh, it's uh, total cost divided by output. We can see the total cost, but if we're struggling to work out which one of these is the output, is the very minimum uh, you can put the formula to get you at least one mark. So it's really, really important that you've got those formulas learned off by heart, not only so you can answer the question, but also so you can uh, get a mark. Uh, if everything else goes wrong. Um, so that's uh, 